it. Um, but this is our last training and inspiration. Haven't these calls been amazing? Like, I love that we are just tapping into the brilliance and the inspiration from our team. If you are at a place or if you have team members who are at a place of just like having troubles with belief, I really encourage you to have them on these calls and have them rewatch these calls, even if they were on these calls, because I guarantee you that when we rewatch these trainings and other trainings, we will get something out of it that maybe we didn't get in the beginning. So um, tonight I'm really, really excited for our caboose. Um, we've got some really incredible women, but first get a pen and paper. I want to make sure that everyone is aware. I know that when I was like kind of in the middle of like really growing my business, I, I was, I'd get overwhelmed with all of the things offered, whether it was from corporate or from Tamara's team or other teams, I would feel really overwhelmed. And so the last thing I want is for you guys to feel overwhelmed. The main thing I want is for you guys to feel like you have resources and you have things that are helping you grow your business, not chasing carrots, but growing your business. And so I just want to make sure that everybody has this in mind as we are transitioning from August to September and we've got some, you know, we've got the long weekend coming up. We've got Mexico for Emerald Extravaganza and Diamond Destination. So I just want to make sure everyone knows kind of what's happening. Um, so obviously this is the last of August. I want to just stop here for a minute and let everybody know that Tarl was in a um, an advisory board call with a, or advisory board meeting with us at convention a few months ago, and I heard from his mouth that seat like traditionally seasonally what is the word I'm trying to say seasonally August is always a slow month. It always is a slow month. So if you're looking in your back office and you feel like a pang in your heart because people are turning their subs off or people aren't ordering or people are canceling or you've not reached your goal or you've not re-ranked and, and maybe you guys haven't added many people this month, I want you to know this is not you. This is a seasonal thing. August is always very slow, but I don't want us just to sit in that. I don't want us just to take that and say, okay, well, it's just slow. So I'm just going to kind of skirt my way into September. Remember what we talked about last week and what Robin Sullivan talked about a couple of weeks ago about being the CEO, having the entrepreneurial mindset. So we have three more days of August where we can end the month strong. Even if your points may not reflect it, even if your points aren't as strong as you want them to be, you knowing that you gave it your all is going to really propel your mindset. It's going to propel your business. I really believe it because I've seen it done over and over and over again. So this is the last couple of days for that cruise. Remember the buddy pass is 800 credits. And what they're telling us is that they believe everybody who gets to the 800 credit mark will have a spot. Now they're going to confirm that later in September after commissions post all the things. Um, but they believe that they will have a spot for everybody who's at 800 credits or more. So don't stop. You have no idea who you might sign in the next couple of days that might catch that vision. You have no idea. But the thing that I do know is that no one's going to catch that vision. No one's going to be your next rock star if you're not out there inviting and being intentional in what you're doing. Um, this is also the last three days of the dinner with diamonds. We have so many of you guys who are really, really close to earning it. We have lowered the uh, requirements um, because we realize it's a slow month and we want more people to be on there. We want more people to earn this incredible gift. And so it's a $20 gift card. You can choose whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to be Venmoing $20. So if you want to go get you and your husband Chick-fil-A, or if you want to save that money to go get yourself a manicure, whatever you want to do with it, you're going to get $20 from us, and then you're going to be invited to that exclusive call with really top-notch diamonds who are going to be training in their skill set. So I know it's going to be such a blessing. So we have three more days for that. Um, I, I've shared this a little bit earlier in some threads, and after I wrote it out in my notes, I thought, oh, I don't want this to sound like a fear-based tactic or a shaming tactic. But what I wrote down is what you put into your business right now, 
you're either going to be really grateful for or you're going to be regretful over in September. Hear me though, that's not a shame or fear-based tactic. That's not what I'm trying to do, but it's reality. If you are working in your business and you may not be seeing fruit right now, look at Nancy Stevens. I don't know if she's on here, but she worked so hard from March all the way into the summer and she wasn't seeing a ton of fruit with all of her efforts. You guys, she's the one that shared last week about the in-person gatherings. Um, and then the summer just explosion of people wanting to come and do this with her. So you may not be seeing that fruit right now, but I promise you September one, when they drop their really big announcement, and I'm just going to tell you it's something they've never done before. It's not a tchotchke. Okay. Cause some people are like, Oh, maybe it's an iPad. Maybe it's an Apple watch. It's not something like that. It's something they've never done before. You might have a little bit of regret if you've just been skirting through this month and the summer. I want you guys to take action over your business so you feel good about what you are putting into your business. And if you haven't been doing it this summer, that's okay. Start right now. Start right now. Leading into that, um, piggybacking off of that, accountability group, which is what we talk about all the time with our non-negotiables, we are starting that back up on September 18th. I just wanna make sure everyone is aware of that. We're starting accountability group September 18th. We would have started it on the 11th, but all of the jewels will be in Mexico for Emerald Extravaganza. So I really want you guys to be plugging in and let that be something that inspires you so that way you guys can be with us next next year. We want so many people there. So mark your calendar for that. As a team, we're doing high performance habits. So if you're out at yard sales or thrift stores or you see a Walmart, high performance habits um, at a really good price, grab it. Um, but like I said, we'll be starting that the 18th of September, we will be having a team call, but because we have Labor Day on Monday the 4th, we're going to just push out the team call to that Tuesday, Tuesday the 5th, normal time, 7 p.m. Mountain, um, and it will be about 30 minutes because we won't do accountability after that, so it'll be a normal like 30, 35 minute call. Um, okay. Uh, that's a lot of talking. I hope that you guys took note of that. If you have questions, put it in the chat. I saw a lot of things coming through the chat, so I'll go and, and take a look and see if there are any questions. But I want to pass this off to our last um, inspirational speaker of August, um, Laura Byron. She has an incredible story. I know that she shared it in the past, um, but I think that this is going to blow our socks off. So we're going to pass it off to beautiful Laura. And uh, if you have any questions for her, put them in the chat. Go ahead, Laura. Thank you for being here. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I'm outside. Okay. Good. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Laura. Um, when Emily asked me to share my story, I honestly thought I was going to throw up and I still might, but I'll try to get through this. Um, so I'm a pretty introverted person, but if sharing my story helps even one person, I will continue to share. So I live in Alexandria, Minnesota. Um, I've been married to my husband, Tyler, for 11 years this Friday. Um, and we have three daughters, uh, ages nine, seven, and four. So I'm going to try to talk fast through this. Um, but if I miss anything and you guys have questions, just let me know. Oh, gosh. Um, so I have been using Plexus products for 18 months now. Um, and I wish I would have started sooner because eight years ago is when I first started noticing that I was having medical problems. Um, so eight years ago, this October, um, I was 14 weeks pregnant with my second daughter. My husband, we lived in Fargo, North Dakota at the time, and my husband was hunting in South Dakota. And so it was just my almost two year old and myself. Um, and I started getting these really weird stomach pains. And I remember calling like the nurse hotline um, that the clinic had at the time. And they told me to come in because they thought it was probably a UTI. And I never had a UTI. So these symptoms were new to me. Um, and so I dropped um, my oldest daughter, Ella, off at a friend's house. And I went to the walk-in clinic. Um, I gave a urine sample. They said everything was fine. And they were going to send me home. Um, the pain started getting a lot worse. Um, so they wanted to do an ultrasound, but it was a Saturday morning and I was fifth in line for an ultrasound. And so I remember waiting in the waiting room and two hours went by and I was sobbing in pain because the pain just like kept getting worse. Um, 
I would like go to the nurse's station. Nobody would do anything. It was, it was really bad. Um, another two hours went by and I was in the fetal position screaming in the waiting room. Um, and still nobody was really doing anything except for the other patients in the waiting room. Um, it was really weird. I've never experienced anything like this before. Um, so the other patient actually grabbed my phone um, and asked if they could call my husband for me. And so they did. And he drove as fast as he could back. Um, and then the other patients went and talked to like the people in charge. Um, and they got me to a room. I remember just laying on the floor of that room, like screaming in pain with my husband on the speakerphone and nobody came back. Um, so my husband actually called an ambulance to come to the clinic and bring me to the hospital. And the people at the hospital were like, this is ridiculous. Um, it ended up being kidney stones. Um, which is a terrible pain. Um, but my husband and I were so sure that I was going through a miscarriage because I, I wasn't, it was just an unfamiliar pain. Um, so I'm, I'm glad it was not a miscarriage. Um, kidney stones are awful. Um, I ended up spending two days in the hospital and um, anyways, but they wanted me to see a urologist um, as soon as I had delivered my second daughter. Um, so later that spring, as soon as Addison was born, I met with a urologist. Um, he tested everything. He was fantastic. And he asked me if I was tired. Okay. So at this point I had like a two week old baby and a two year old. And I remember just laughing like, um, yes, I'm very tired. <laughs> um, and at that time I was teaching elementary special education and I was very tired. Um, and so he, he's like, well, there's a reason you're tired. Your iron levels, your ferritin levels are almost zero. Your hemoglobin is at an eight and your vitamin D levels are almost like depleted. He's like, there is a reason you were tired. And I remember just sobbing like, okay, like, <laughs> you know, like this, I was just normalizing all of it. And there was a reason. Um, so he actually set me up with a nephrologist, which is a kidney specialist. Um, so he set me up with her um, because she said I was, you know, severe iron deficiency anemia and severe vitamin D deficiencies. Um, so I was immediately started on iron infusions, iron supplements, um, vitamin D supplements. I was taking 150,000 units of vitamin D per week, which is a lot. Like you can't stay on that for very long. Um, and that was all in three pills. So each pill was 50,000 units. Um, and then my infusions were every month um, and they were not completely covered by my insurance. And it, it was expensive. Um, and I had to get them done um, where people were getting cancer treatments done. Um, so I remember just having to sit there and I would have to take a half day off work to get them done as well. Um, and so it was just, it was expensive, but it was also time consuming. Um, so I continued that for the next three years. Um, it helped a little bit, but my levels were still not going up. And I just remember being so tired. Like I had toddlers at home. My husband and I wanted another baby. It was affecting the way I was teaching. It was affecting my friendships. It was affecting my relationship with my husband. Like I also had postpartum anxiety at the time. So I like wanted to be in control of everything. Um, and I didn't realize I had postpartum anxiety at the time, but looking back, I totally had it back then. Um, so I didn't want any help. So I just remember like feeling defeated. Like I wasn't good enough. I was so tired and all this stuff. Um, and so I kind of just blamed myself um, and started to normalize it. So thank goodness my husband was a rock through all of this. Um, and then we moved from Fargo to Alexandria. Um, and I was very lucky because my nephrologist, my kidney doctor moved to St. Cloud. So she was still considered in my network, which was amazing. Um, and then during my third pregnancy, um, I was told right before she was born that um, shortly after she was born, I would need a total hysterectomy um, just because my iron levels were so low um, that it was medically necessary that I, I had to. Um, my periods were super heavy my entire life. Um, so they thought that that was probably the reason. Um, 
And I don't know if that truly was the reason looking back, but at the time um, it was worth shot. And my husband and I were pretty sure we were done having kids. So it's what we did. Um, so eight weeks after my third daughter was born, Annika, um, I had a total hysterectomy done. And I thought like within a few months, like, oh, I'm not gonna have stomach aches anymore. Like everything's gonna be better. My headaches will go away, my energy levels. Um, and they didn't. And I was just starting to feel really like, oh, like, did I really need to get that done? Like, did I, should I have gotten another opinion? Like all these kind of emotions started coming in. Um, so my doctor started running all the tests because I was having headaches. I was still having digestive issues. I was so tired. Um, so I had colonoscopies done, allergy testing done, um, like endoscopy is done. They tested me for celiacs, Crohn's disease, SIBO. They tested my pancreas, my thyroid. I had numerous bone density scans done because of my vitamin D um, and just lots of blood, blood tests done. Um, I remember telling my husband at one point, like, can it just be one of these? Like, let's just like, I, you know, to like hope that you have something is really sad looking back. Um, but they were all negative every single one. Um, so they could not figure out why my body was not absorbing the iron or vitamin D. Um, and not one person mentioned gut health, like not one doctor. I had never heard of gut health at that time. Um, so I was relying on coffee, at least four Diet Cokes a day, just to get through my teaching day. Um, thank goodness I was teaching high school students at that time and still am because um, they were just a blessing. <laughs> um, and so I was truly starting to get in my head, like all these blood tests were still showing that everything was super low, but like, it's been two years since my hysterectomy, like why aren't these things getting better? So in comes Ashley, um, Ashley Westberg and I had gone to high school together. Um, and we were friends in high school, but then we had kind of lost touch. And she had messaged me a few times about Plexus. Um, and she was always listening and like curious of my story. And I remember telling her about my hysterectomy and things like that. Um, and she, I think I told her no, maybe five, six times over the course of a year. Because I was working with doctors. Like why? No, there's no way that this pink drink or maybe 10, she says. Yeah, probably. Um, like there was no way this pink drink could work, right? Um, and the cost kind of scared me because I was already feeling guilty about all the medical bills and all the stuff that I was having done anyways. Um, so I thought of every excuse in the book. And thank you, Ashley, for not giving up on me because um, I was a huge skeptic. Um, but in February of 2022, I had like kind of hit rock bottom a little bit with like with my mental and physical health um, just because nothing was working. I was a chronic yo-yo dieter. I was just not comfortable in my skin and I was just feeling defeated. Um, and so I remember messaging Ashley and I was like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> and she got me set up um, with the triplex system. And then since then, I've also added in active hydrate and protein shakes. Um, but you guys, the past 18 months, I have found so much relief physically and mentally. Um, I finally have energy, so I no longer have any headaches. I don't have the heartburn, the stomach aches. I am less moody and I'm regular and you guys having energy, like I can be present and like to be present with your family is the biggest gift ever. Um, like not going to bed as soon as your kids get home from daycare and being able to spend time with your husband. I am present as a teacher and as a friend, and it's it's just been truly a gift. I can do things I enjoy, like golf, and actually have the energy to join exercise groups. Um, so I just I feel like I'm living and not just surviving, which is so huge. Um, and then physically, I am no longer taking any medications, like, and that's like not that I just stopped. Like my doctors have said whatever you're doing, keep doing because I don't need any of my medications, like none. I don't even need to see my kidney doctor anymore. She's like, there's no reason I need to see you. Um, so my blood levels, um, I continue to have them checked, but probably three or four months after I started the triplex, I had them checked. Um, my iron and ferritin levels were in the normal range. My vitamin D is in the normal range. <laughs> 
my hemoglobin was a 13.5 and has stayed right around 13 or 14. Um, and so then uh, like on my own, I started doing research on gut microbiome and iron deficiencies and vitamin D and absorption. And you guys, it, it's related. Like it is all related. Your gut microbiome is related to why I can, couldn't absorb iron or vitamin D. So it's just crazy. So I'm just really thankful that Ashley did not give up on me and um, for this community. So, yeah. What a beautiful story. And I don't know if you guys saw in the comments, but Kanye said, this is why we do what we do. This is why when we have somebody on our heart, we continue to love them and pursue them and follow back with them just like Ashley did totally out of love. I'm sure Laura did not feel annoyed by her. I'm sure that it just wasn't Laura's time, but Ashley had it in her heart that this could help her. And I think people are drawn to people who are confident that this could be the answer. You know, I think people are drawn to when people really believe in something um, at Laura, thank you so much for sharing your story. Ashley, thank you for never giving up and not letting fear take place because who knows where Laura and her family would be right now. Um, Laura, tell us real quick, what, um, what, what's your regimen? What do you like to take? Um, so I take actually three pro bio fives and three bio cleanse every night and then one pink drink and one active and one protein shake. I started with two of each, but I had to increase it to three of each. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think that's amazing. Like she doesn't have this $800 a month bill for her Plexus stuff. Like she's doing the triplex with active and with lean. And those may not even be every day. I mean, I love that. That's amazing. If you guys have questions for Laura specific, Will you guys put them in the chat? I know that other people would appreciate seeing those too, because I'm sure that if you have that question, somebody else probably does too. Um, we're going to go ahead and transition to the, the last little bit of training that we have. I'm excited about this one because I can't tell you how many people have said to me that they don't really know how to find a power partner, or maybe they were connected with somebody before, but it just didn't really mesh, or they didn't really know how to get connected with that person. They didn't really know what it looked like to be a power partner. Um, and so I asked Jessalyn and Carly, who've been with us for a couple of years now, and have probably had multiple people that they have run with, they have connected with one another, and I've seen a really big difference just in the way that they are individually showing up to their business. Um, and so I'm really inspired by that. And I know you guys will too. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to whoever's going to take the lead, Carly or Jess. Jesslyn, you're up. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to figure out how to unmute it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to kind of start. I'm going to combine a few things um, from the get-go. To be honest, the simple most easy way to explain things is I literally text Carly and I said, Hey girl, do you have a power partner? Um, that was about December, I think. Um, to give you a little bit of a backstory, I had gone through multiple quote unquote power partners. Um, none of which are currently working the business. Um, and Carly and I had connected at convention in June the year before. And if you don't know my business story, I've been here for a hot minute. And I worked the business really consistently, really hard when I started because I had to, couldn't afford the products, et cetera. Let life get in the way and fear, et cetera, stopped. And then um, probably like two years ago, I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. But it was more of a hobby for me. Um, we had a newborn, I was still in a new city and a new job, et cetera. And um, my business was just kind of stagnant. I wasn't really getting anywhere. Um, I didn't really have anyone personal to push me, to encourage me, to challenge me, et cetera. And so I was like, you know what? I just, Carly had been in my heart for a while and I felt like we had really connected. And I was like, you know, what? I'm just, 
going to reach out and see. And so I did. And she was like, well, no, not really. And so things just kind of happened. Um, and I know that that sounds silly and you're like, well, okay, but it's true. Um, and so I kind of told Carly, like, listen, this is where I'm at and this is what I need. And this is what I have to give, which I also, also think is really important because, um, at that season of my life, I didn't really feel like I had a lot of give to give both like in my business and professionally. And, you know, right. There's just, we all have a lot going on. And so, um, which of course she was like, you have way more to give than what you're giving yourself credit for. But I was just really honest and open and said, like, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I need. Like, are you interested? And can you help do that for me? And um, things kind of developed from there. So. Okay, so um, where I was at my business when Jesslyn asked me, do you want to be a power partners? Um, I was just, I was actually on the cusp of coming out from a long season of grief. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about my story, but I am open book about my story. So if you're like, what is going on? Message me and I would love to share more. Um, but I was in a season of grief from probably August to January. And I was doing, I was struggling mentally. Um, did I even want to do this business anymore? So it's really funny The when she reached out to me, I was that week, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I, I'm struggling so much with outside family stuff with my business being not stagnant because I was doing something every day to move the needle forward, but I had no one to answer that to. I had to answer that to myself. And so I had a sticky note on my mirror that said, what is one thing you can do today to move your business? And I would either answer that to my husband, to myself, or I would text Kara and say, this is what I did today to move my business forward. And so, um, just a little encouragement. If you are in a season that's really, really difficult, um, that if you're grieving, whatever grief look, might look like, um, to you, if you're just in a really hard season, what is you, what, like, what is one thing that you can do to move your business forward? And then you build on that every day. And so I was in the process of building on that. when Jessalyn messaged me, um, I felt like it was okay, but I was also, could not see growth. I could, I, I was just getting frustrated that I was doing all the things, although I wasn't doing them as hardcore as I'm doing them now, now having Jesslyn as my power partner. Um, but I was still doing all the things and I'm like, where, like what's happening? Um, so that's where I was and where Jesslyn were, were, that's where we were in our business. Um, so what is working for us is we connect every single day we connect, um, through sometimes it's all three of these is what I'm going to say. So like we Marco Polo, we voice message, we text every single day, just like, Hey, this is what's going on. I even it, like, even just a simple, she's my friend. Like, how can I pray for you today? Or I messaged her. I did not sleep well last night. And I messaged her and said, Hey, can you please pray for me today? Cause I'm starting this new job and I'm really nervous about not, not having a lot of sleep. And so, um, and, and so just knowing that this power partner has turned into a friend is just so beautiful. Marco Polo, um, is an app where you, it's like a walkie talkie situation where you talk and then you can watch a video. Um, and it's, I, I think all phones have it. Yeah. Video text. Um, okay. And so what we share, um, we share things that we have done. So take, what have I done today? Challenges that we do every so often. That is what we share every single day, whether it's the weekend, whether it's the week, we're pretty good about, um, getting it done during the weeks during the week. But then there's like this past weekend, Jesslyn was like, listen, I'm challenging us to send three messages this weekend. And I said, okay, that sounds great. Let's do it. So we, every single day, um, we message each other, Marco Polo voice message text. This is what I've done today to move my needle forward. This is what I've done. This is, I have asked 
she knows I'm really working on building my network. So I literally texted her and said, Hey, I asked three new friends from my new job to be my friend on Facebook. And so she's like, okay, cool. Great. <laughs> and so, um, we validate each other. We challenge each other. And then like what I said, what's one small thing you can do today to move your knee, knee, needle forward. Um, I think the validating each other is really important in a power partner because you want, because, okay. If you think about truth and love, like you want, you want to like be truth, but you also need to be loving in the way you present the truth. And so me, I feel very validated when she says, I see you. I am so sorry that you're struggling with that. Let's flip the script here. Like, I see your frustration. I see what you're going through. That sounds like a really hard day. Okay. Um, okay. And then our next thing kind of goes into um, how we help one another. Jesslyn, do you want to kind of talk about that? We can tag team. Number four. <laughs> yeah, I think so. She kind of started to talk a little bit about it. Really, it's just the accountability aspect. Like, <laughs> there's some days I'm like, Carly, I just was in the operating room for 14 hours today and I don't want to do a freaking thing. Like, I am ready to go home. I'm mm -hmm. exhausted. Kiss my babies and go to bed. And she's like, okay, but what's one small thing that you can do today? Or, you know, what's, what's one simple task that you can like check off your list? Um, and so that's really important. Also simple things like troubleshooting, figuring out a routine. Um, mm -hmm. I'm in a new season of a new job. And so she texted me today and she said, Hey girl, don't forget your planner. Um, and I was like, Oh, thanks. And I, I did, I put it in my bag. It was on the kitchen table. Um, because I'm just not in that routine yet. And while I didn't have time to look at my planner or do any work today while at work, um, I still had it. And, and so it's just developing all of that. We help each other troubleshoot. Hey, I have this customer who's doing this. Can you help me, you know, messages? Um, we've done, um, chats, like event chats together. Um, we've done those a couple times a month when we don't have any with the team. Um, and something that she is really great about sharing and has challenged me with is um, sharing what she has learned. So before I had an accountability partner, I didn't really truly, this is kind of embarrassing to even say out loud, but I didn't really see the value in personal development. I thought I was like, if I'm going to spend time on my business, I need to spend time on my business, like messaging people and following up with people. And I was just like, I don't have time for book study. Like I have two young kids and I work a lot. And so she really challenged me this last book study, two book studies ago, actually. Um, she was like, just try it. Just see if it doesn't work for you. That's okay. But just try it. And I was like, okay. And honestly, that was a game changer for us. It allowed us to connect on a way deeper level than we had previously. Um, we utilize a lot of things that we learned in book study together both individually and helping each other and challenging one another. Um, but going back to what she's really great eyes, she's like, I listened to this podcast and this is what I learned. And this is how I'm going to implement it into my business. Like, and she'll send me the podcast and be like, you need to listen to this or, you know, I'll read a book and I'll be like, Oh, this is great. You need a or an excerpt from a book even sometimes. Um, and so just not only what we're learning, but how we can, apply that to our business. And, um, we send each other podcast books. I mean, all kinds of stuff, literally probably a couple times a week. Um, or, Hey, I listened to this. Have you listened to this yet? I want to connect about this. Can we talk about this? Can we brainstorm? Can we, mm -hmm. you know, do things yeah. like that? So I love also too, that like we see each other because I love like hearing mm -hmm. the different perspectives of like, this is what I, Emily sent us this call. I would love for you to listen to this. And Emily sent this call on level one. She literally sent this to me two days ago. I have not listened to it, but Emily sent me this call. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. And so um, it, now I know like, oh, I want to listen to this, but I love that we push each other. Um, and we're not afraid to say like, what is holding you back from doing it? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Why? Like, why are you not? Like, what is, what, like, what's the worst that could happen? Um, 
And then another thing I feel like I've asked you recently is how can I, or can I help you be more consistent with this? And I think it was around the planner. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was like, girl, what's holding you back from taking your planner to work? Like, is there, is it like a kind of situation of like, you just need to put it with your supplement. You need to put it with your water, like trying to, it's the same way that we troubleshoot with our customers for consistency and like the building habits uh, from atomic habits that we read about. Um, it's like, okay, how do I just sneak this in and add it in? And, um, and thankfully I was able to remember today cause I started a new job and I brought my planner. So I was like, Hey, take your planner. Um, but yeah, like the troubleshooting, the new systems, like we both like January, we both said we wanted to work on retention and duplication. And so we're like, what can we do to help that? Um, and so we've been really trying to like hone in on different, adding different systems and trying them out and me saying, Hey, I don't know who on this call created this amazing customer care thread. And I thank you so much, but it has, it has been a life saving for my business and my retention is doing this customer care that someone created it. I think it was Michaela. And then someone turned Michaela's into a board. And y'all, it is duplicatable. Ashley is doing it and it is fantastic. So thank you, Michaela, for doing that. And thank you to whoever who turned it into a board. Um, yeah, I will share it because it has been a game changer. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and Ashley is pushing for senior silver this, this month. And so um, I think another thing that we do is that it kind of goes along with validating is that we see, like, we note the junk. So like, that's what's great about Marco Polo and like voice text. And you're like, okay, get it all out. You're getting it out. You're getting it out. Okay. You do realize all of that's a lie, right? Like none of that's true. You know it. I know it. So glad you got it out. So you can't dwell anymore. So now what are we going to do about it? And so we're really good about like, and we're even to, we even start it. Hey, I know this is a lie, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just share it because if I don't, I'm very much, if I don't get it out, in some kind of form, whether I write it down, whether I talk to my husband about it, whether I talk to Jocelyn about it or Kara or whatever, it's just going to be filtering in my mind. And so she's just another person that I'm like, Hey, I feel stuck. And she's like, you're not stuck. And I'm like, okay, but I feel like she's like, okay, I validate that, but you're not. So how can we move this today to help you not feel stuck? Um, okay. So ways that this, that this has helped our business and leadership. I mean, we've already touched on this. We challenge each other. We send and share trainings and how we're going to apply to our business. Um, we have really seen growth in ourselves and our leaderships since partnering together. Um, and I think I, it's important to note, like we have the confidence to do more solo events. And so we have, we are really trying to do at least two messenger events a month because we're like, why are we relying, we're relying only on the events that our team is doing when this literally takes 20 minutes tops? Like, it's not a, like, why are we making a big deal? So we started doing that. Um, I think the only thing left, Jocelyn, do you want to touch on number five, how to ask someone? Yeah. So um, I think there's, there's no perfect, there's no like right way to ask someone. Um, again, I've been through multiple power partners and, um, you know, there was nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with me. It just, it wasn't the right season for us. Um, and so I just, I think again, going back to being honest and open about what you have to offer, what it is that you need and what it is that you're like looking for is really important. Um, Kara said something else is really important, but I don't, I'm sorry. I get too distracted by the chats. Um, but just like, know that like, if you're a power partner with someone and like, it's not working out or you're not getting out of it, what you need to, or if someone's not giving you what you need, like, it's okay to be like, Hey, you know what? Like, I love you and I respect you. And like, I, I want to be friends with you and I want to continue to support you. But like, this isn't working for me. Um, and that's like, okay. And if that happens to you, like, please don't take that personal. Um, because again, I think if Carly and I had met in different seasons than what we were both in, it would not have worked. Um, and I can't speak for her, but, um, just, I felt like we were both kind of in 
similar seasons of life. We were in similar seasons of our business. And we were just able to connect on a deeper level beyond just our business because like, she's right. We're, she's one of my best friends now and we text about everything. (laughs) And so, um, you know, just have a conversation with someone and you don't have, I don't know, maybe you don't have to outright say like, will you be my power partner? You know, can you help hold me accountable in this? And maybe it's just like one simple thing. Hey, can you help hold me accountable in this aspect of my business, <laughs> yeah, Kanye, check yes or no. <laughs> Write a little paper note. Um, I don't know that there's a right or a wrong way to do it. And maybe someone does have a right or a wrong way to do it. But I don't know. I think just having a very open and honest conversation mm-hmm. with someone um, from the get-go, like, this is where my business is. This is where I want my business to be. This is what I need from you this is what I can give you like can you help me and just kind of see where things go from there um but give it 90 days like we say in that's what I've been doing with like oh, for the sure. customer care system I was like okay I'm gonna try this for 90 days and I'm like shoot this is working so it's like okay I'm gonna try this like um this system of posting for 90 days well this is working like so it's like or this isn't working I'm gonna tweak this and so I think like not having like you said to not get your feelings hurt of like okay I want to what do you think we kind of we're jiving we get along but she has a completely different personality than me and I think that's what's really good about it is that she we just have a different personality. And so it's so good to hear her perspective as well. Of, um, and we do mesh really well together, but I love, I think it's really good to reiterate, like you be up front, like this is what I can offer. And this is what I can give. And if you are in a season, I love what Jessalyn said. If it would have been two months, maybe even a month before, if it would have been around Thanksgiving, I would have probably been like, <laughs> no no um because I just could not handle one more drop in an already overflowing bucket but so if you're like I want this but I I can't do this be very upfront like hey Mm -hmm. this is how I feel this is where I'm at like emotionally spiritually mentally business not business um and I just want to say what communication I think Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, I mean, it I wasn't think, profound. Like, by no means, please don't take this as like we have everything figured out because we still try things and we're like, that did not work. Or like, okay, we are doing this and it's kind of working, but like, how can we make this better? Um, we by no means have everything figured out. And I would say it took us a, at least a few months to really like get into a regular jive is where it's coming to my mind I don't know um a routine of like help figuring each other out um because there's some things that I thought I needed and then she's like you don't you don't really need that you've got that figured out like can I help you in this way and it's like oh okay yeah like so just allowing grace for yourself for your business for the other person like again it's not a black and white thing it's it's just a process just like yeah. everything else is in this business. Well, and this- you're having to like get to know each other too. Like you're in the mm-hmm. process of like learning each other in the business and how does she work her business because she works full time and I don't work full time. So like, what does that look like? And so, um, yeah. Well, I think everybody now is like hearing this and people are hungry. Like, okay, I want that. I want to have somebody that runs with me and walks with me and somebody that I can talk to and somebody that I'm like, you know, on deep levels with, but, but we are intentionally running our business together. Um, that's not going to just come to you. So I know that it can be scary. Um, but this is my tip for you when you're thinking through, okay, I would love to have this one. The people that I see having the most success with power partnerships are when they both are very committed to the goal, not somebody's just kind of showing up sometimes, and somebody else is leading them. That's not what a power partnership is. Like Jesslyn's not carrying Carly along the whole time. Like they both have goals. They both have, they're both committed. And so I think that that's a very important piece. When you are, 
you know, on our team threads or our team page or in team calls or even not even somebody on our team. Like maybe you've seen somebody else like you guys, you just ranked up to gold and they also just ranked up to gold and you're really drawn to their posts. Like take that boldness and reach out to them and just say, hey, like I, I'm, I'm loving your style. I also do Plexus. If this is something you don't know, um, I also do Plexus. I just went gold. I'd love to like connect with you and see, you know, maybe we could run a few things together. Like you don't have to right out the gate be like, hey, Kara, do you want to be my power partner? Like we don't know each other. We don't really like know how each other vibes, but like, do you want to be my power, power, power partner? Like you don't have to put a name to it, but you could even just kind of start seeing like, hey, Carrie, would you, you know, I feel like you and I kind of have a nice little connection here. I really love who you are and what you stand for. And I, I love seeing that you're showing up to your business every day. I'm seeing that you're adding people every month and, and, you know, you and I are both similar in our ranks and I would love to run with you. Maybe we could do a, a, an event or two together. Would you be open to that? And then see what like morphs into that. So you don't have to like put a name to it. But the thing is, if you want that, show up to your business like you mean it and then start asking somebody. Um, and it doesn't have to be weird. It doesn't have to be awkward, but like Carly and Jess said, like kind of be, let them know from the beginning who you are. Um, and then I think that everything you guys are sharing here, this is what Kara said too. Everything you're sharing is what's, what's giving me chills is ownership. You're not sitting around waiting for me or Kara, who are your jewel uplines to do things. You guys are doing it. Like that, I'm like, okay, 100%, they're gonna be diamonds. 100%, that attitude, that posture, that activity, that mindset, that leadership lid that you're raising, that is diamond material. I know that we are going way over our time, but this has been such an amazing call and I want this for every single one of you. So as you're sitting here, like taking, looking through your notes, um, I, I, I encourage you to start small, um, take a look and see who you feel like you're connected with. Maybe who are you at similar levels with, with your business, maybe reach out to them. But I really love what Carly said, get a piece of paper, put it on your computer. And what did you say? What is the one thing that I can do today to move my business forward? That is ownership. She's not waiting on somebody else to do it for her. She knows it is up to her. And when she's at that healthy spot, that's when she was ready to link up with somebody and for them to run their businesses together. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being on. Um, thank you guys for being an incredible team. Let's finish out August strong. Um, if you guys have a team, I encourage you to go do something fun, do some sort of IPA challenge, do a hashtag what I did today challenge. And um, I don't know if Elaine is on here, but she's doing it. If you add, if you add a customer, I'm sending you a $10 gift card and your customer a $10 gift card, like just making it fun. Um, you investing into your team is going to benefit you in the long run if you do it wisely. And if you're showing up and you're consistent in your business and taking that ownership, love you guys so much. Thank you for being awesome. Bye, everyone.